Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Over the last couple weeks, I've done these tutorial videos kind of aimed at a beginner to intermediate user on the topic of masking. And in the first video, we looked at masking from selections. And in the second video, we looked at masking manually using something like the brush tool. In this video, we're taking those concepts and we're putting them together. So we're gonna showcase how to use that using an actual photo, so practical application of those skill sets. Enjoy. In the previous two videos, we talked about how to apply masks using selections and how to manually mask our images. Let's actually apply these tools in real time. Let's say I want to extract the foreground of this image from the background. I'll use the selection tool. Instead of using the brush selection tool or the rectangular selection tool, I'm gonna use the select subject AI action. I'll click it, it's right here on the right hand panel. You'll notice that my subject is selected with the same marching ants marquee as in the first tutorial. From here, I can click the mask button located underneath the adjustment layers and it will mask in accordance with my active selection. It did a really good job, but notice that the AI missed a small portion of the bird's head. If I zoom inwards, we can see this and remedy it. Notice that a transparency fills the portion of our image that we masked out. And the thumbnail shows this area as black, which means that this area has been turned off. Navigate to the regular brush tool. Ensure that our foreground color is white. White turns the area that we're going to paint with the brush on. The inverse would be to paint with black to turn the layer off in that particular area. With a couple quick brush strokes, my bird's head is back. And although it's very hard to see, the thumbnail would also reflect this. I'll zoom out. Let's add a background. I'll click the add a new file as a layer button that is underneath the adjustment layers. I'll find a background. When I have one selected, you'll see an image appear with a bounding box. This bounding box means that I can move or readjust my image. Note that it's easier to do this if I click and drag my image underneath my subject layer. I'll increase the size of the image and reposition it. It doesn't quite fill the whole area. To fill the remainder, I'll add a blank layer below it. Let's fill this layer using the eyedropper tool. Click the eyedropper and make sure to select the layer you want to copy a color from. In this case, we're gonna copy from the background layer. Click the paint bucket tool. Click on the blank layer and fill it. Notice that when I do that, there's a subtle discrepancy between the two layers. This is quite easily fixed. Click our landscape layer and add a mask. Select the brush tool and ensure that the black is selected. What we wanna do here is brush on this thin line that appears where the colors aren't quite the same, but we want to do this with a high feathering. High feathering will blend these areas together nicely. So in this example, we've applied both the selection method of masking with manual methods. Uh, this is a really simple masking application and there's much more complicated approaches, but hopefully with this, you can begin to apply masking using ACDC. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like, click the bell icon. That'll notify you when we upload new videos.